Are there still people that don't come in for a special occasion, but just come in just yeah. because they like fresh flowers? Yeah, we do still have quite a few of those types of people. And again, because the availability of, of flowers in, in more types of stores as well, I think people are taking flowers home more. They're okay. just buying them in different places. Right. But they, but they understand the importance of them and how they make people feel, and they like still enjoy them. Mm, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So how many employees do you have at Case? Uh, currently I have two. Mm -hmm. we, um, we usually have three to four people on staff, depending, it's, it's quite seasonal, mm -hmm. so we will have additional people on at, at some of the busy times. Th things like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, I have up to 15 to 20 people, just because wow. we have that many orders, whereas on an everyday basis we have you know anywhere from three to five employees. So when you go up to 15, are there some family and friends that get called in as favors yes. for those kind yep. of days? Definitely family and friends. For instance, this Mother's Day, we, um, I, I talked to some friends and they said, oh, we'd love to do that. And they, they, just, and they really enjoyed it because it's, it's, it's different for them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. It, yeah it's I've a fun a, thing for them to do. A good team, definitely. So what is the busiest day of the year for, for buying flowers? Is it Valentine's or is it Mother's Day? Mother's Day is bigger, but we can spread that over two days because we can do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whereas Valentine's Day is a one-shot deal. There's no sense getting them early or right. after Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So volume-wise, Mother's Day is bigger, but Valentine's Day, I mean, you've got to get those orders out within a small period of time.